Good day, everyone, and welcome to yet another edition of DH Rated video series. DH Rated is a platform where we discuss adult content ranging from marriage, relationship, sex, postmarital affairs, and everything that has to do with romance or adults. We also do matchmaking for those who have attained marriageable ages, but they do not have a relationship yet. We do the bidding for you and we get to your choice man or your choice woman. For today's edition of our video series, I have titled this Stop the Rip. Stop the Rip. This came as a result of the feedback and the questions from uh, our viewers and uh, members of our platforms on Facebook and on WhatsApp. Stop the rape. It is disheartening that 90% um, of African men rape unknown to them. What do I mean by this is that most of our African men are not romantic. Don't forget that a woman may give you a sexual content, consent and yet you rape her. It's very possible that she says, okay, please come and make love to me and her body is not saying so. Or better still, you have not prompted her body to say so. To prepare a woman's body, you need a whole lot of patience. And for you to make a woman to enjoy sex, you need to prepare a body and a sense, a sexual sense, because it is actually the sense that sends signal to the body in readiness. Now, I've broken the stages into three, which I call the pre-production, the production, and the post-production, meaning the preparatory stage, the coitus, the sex itself, and the expectations, the results that must come after sex. At the level of pre-production, which is the most important anyway, is the level where you prepare the woman. And in preparing the woman, you need a lot of patience. Don't forget that African women need special patience because majority of them had gone through what we call mutilation, female genital mutilation. Most of them had had their clitoris damaged in the name of culture or in the name of circumcision. So people like that, you need extra patience to actually bring them around for sexual reasons. African men, majority of them don't know how to give head, how to do cornelingos. And in doing cornelingos, are you doing it right? In doing cornelingos, you are to concentrate around the clitoris region and not the entire vulva. And there is a level of pressure that must be on the clitoris. Else, it goes into pain and the sensation is cut off. That is a lecture for another day, but you must be patient and you must give your woman quality foreplay, quality romance. You don't just play with her five minutes and you want to rush into her. That is rape and the rape must stop. At least you need 20 minutes of meaningful touches. Kiss, caressing soft suck on the nipples concentrate more on the left which is closer to the heart then go to other sensitive areas some at their pinna some at the back of their neck some in their palm and all that explore her body and make sure she is brought around don't forget that when she is physically ready she will give you signs some will even beg practically that please come into me. Some will try to pull you on them. So, you know, they would give you a sign that you will understand that they are ready for intercourse. When they are ready. 
the next stage is the sex itself sex is to be enjoyed by the two parties not just a person a person enjoying sex while the other party is not enjoying sex is rape and you must stop the rape as a man who is romantic who is sexually responsible in penetrating your wife or your partner as the case may be you need to be slow you don't have to be rough i'm aware that some men some women prefer when sex is very rough but not at the point of penetration else you bruise them when she is dripping wet it's easier to penetrate but make sure your penetration is slow then after that you then begin to study what i call rhythm study the rhythm at which you're going you are studying your partner is she enjoying it a particular twist or a particular rhythm what is her reaction to it because most often you need to go three, four, five rhythms before you get the one that suits her most, that she, she want, the one she enjoys most. So you need to study your woman. Am I doing the right thing? Is she enjoying it? Does she need depth? Or am I going too deep? Am I too deep or am I too shallow? Occasionally you pull out and use the tip of your dick you know to play with a clitoris and slip it in again let me also give you a hint that the best of men sexually are those who tries to use the penis to pull the clitoris into the vagina at every given point in time you you, you rub the penis on the clitoris into the vagina that is the best way to make a woman come not just closing your eye and banging off and digging as if you're searching for your destiny in there you need to make sure that your partner is responding and she's enjoying it as much as you are enjoying it it is also important that if you enjoy it and you reach oxen it's important you go back into foreplay and make sure your woman reaches oxen too if you have not done that you have not made love you have only had sex finally is the post production which is the feedback the expectation after sex it is disheartening that most men after sex they bang off they come after coming some will roll off right there and they are snoring it is a sin against god and humanity it is a punishable offense against women you don't do that it is wrong some will stand up they will do the mr clean go into the bathroom to go and clean up and the next thing they come on bed they back the lady even if they don't back the lady after two minutes they are snoring it is not right it is rape it is after sex after both of you had enjoyed yourself to satisfaction that she needs more of what you did at the beginning she needs to be reassured that she has been loved she has not been used that is when she needs cuddling that is when she needs the warmth of the body even when you are no longer in her so when you do that that is when you engage her and discuss about what you just did when you do that, you will discover that another round is on its way. All these things, if women try as much as possible to teach their husband, it will be good. But most women don't do that because most of them don't want the man to see them as if this person is wayward or this person is more experienced than I am and all that. So they keep mute. But for men, it's important you learn these things. When women don't enjoy sex with you, most often they don't talk. But they are frustrated. Don't leave them hanging. Make sure they enjoy you to the fullest. 
thank you very much that is going to be the little piece we have for you for today please don't forget to subscribe as a youtube channel just scroll down and tap the subscribe button god bless you until next week when we'll be bringing you another adult topic don't forget that you can connect with us on the number showing on your screen you can also join us on facebook distinguished honorables humanitarian on twitter distinguished honorables on instagram distinguished honorables on uh, on whatsapp we have it dh rated just like we have it dh rated also on youtube until next time remain blessed